Hey guys, this is Jewel. I wanted to share something with you. Um, about two years ago, before I really started getting, before I even, I, I was listening to David Benjamin, but before I really started getting solidified in identification truths, I heard these words in my spirit, follow me beyond the courtyard. And I've been chewing on that for two years and praying for God to show me what it means. And two years have passed. And since then, I the veil has been torn away. I My spiritual eyes have been opened to see my identity in Christ, my death with Christ. And so regarding the courtyard, um, you know, where uh, Peter, the night that Jesus was, was betrayed and Peter was out in the outer courtyard you know, around the fire and he was being accused of knowing Jesus and Peter denied him three times. Well, beyond the courtyard during that time, you know, like Jesus was being flogged. His, he, he was, his blood was everywhere. He was being beaten and flogged. And, you know, um, before he was even, um, and he went, days without sleep before he was even assigned a wooden beam to carry up a huge hill for to um to be crucified on the cross so it's like be seeing for those who have not yet been able to spiritually see their death with Christ it's like you're on the outside of the courtyard you don't understand the depth of what is really going on. And with us looking back, it's like we're, we don't really understand what happened on the cross. And when the veil was torn away from me for the first time I saw, I started to see deeper and deeper layers of what his death on that cross burial and resurrection according to the scriptures has accomplished for me and what it did to me and why I had to be crucified with him and why all of my flesh good and bad had to be done away with so I want to share something with you I wrote the following poem I just asked God to give me some words and um, I'm entitling it follow me beyond the courtyard Jesus led me by the hand Beyond the courtyard where firsthand I saw Christ being flogged for me, his flesh and ribbons shred for me. His blood splattered everywhere, including my face as I stood and stared. How could one survive such torture? I wondered in speechless horror. Accepting quite reluctantly, this day would not end quickly. I clung to Jesus tighter, walking uphill higher and higher. I wanted to close my eyes, not see the terror happening before me. Not able to peel my eyes away, a veil was suddenly torn away. I saw myself up there with Christ. My good and bad, it all had to die. He picked me up and carried me down to see the tomb where his body lay down. Not only did I see the tomb, but all of humanity, the world, creation, religion, works, and churchianity, all were in this room, done away with and entombed. My flesh and all my effort discarded through and through. Then my spiritual eyes were opened up for me to see. My death with Christ and Sabbath rest. All his work complete, praise God. I'm risen to new life in the eighth day with him inside of me hidden in him, inheriting him for all eternity. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Amen.